everybody. It is Series 3, Episode 14 of the Quintessentially Scottish Movie Review Comedy Impression Podcast, What's the Script? Chris, how are you, mate? Yeah, it's fine and dandy. First day off. It's Friday, so Friday feeling. You know what I mean? It's all good. Oh, Friday, yeah. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, hi. Before we start, hold on, I need to raise something, right? Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, sick. <laughs> he got a halo. Oh, uh, that's brilliant, that, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, uh, that's a beef hula hoop if ever I've seen it. <laughs> so, if you're listening to the audio, guys, you're not going to get the full visual effect of what I've just done there. I've just been touched by the hand of God. He's uh, deemed me angel worthy and gave me a wee halo there above the head. Whereas Chris is basking in the light of the pearly gates. <laughs> you're <laughs> illuminated. Aye, aye, the big and stone in there, I'll make sure I don't get too. Uh... Blasphemous jokes on you, sir. <laughs> ah, we can't promise that crap, man, can we? Yeah, well, so this... it was my pick today. Uh, this week, mate, I've picked one of my favorite. Uh, it was definitely my favorite Kevin Smith movie, anyway. Uh, it was Dogma 1999. Uh, and what a cast! Let me rhyme off some of the, the names to the people at home here. So obviously Kevin Smith wrote and directed it, also starts as part of the duo, which is Jay and Silent Bob, along with Jay Muse. We've got Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, who are the best double act since McCoyst and Hately. We've got Alan Rickman, Potter. <laughs> uh, we've got Linda Fiorentino, who I just think is smashing. Even in Men in Black, I thought she was smashing and all. And she's 63 now. And she still looks smashing. Uh, we've got Salma Hayek, prime Salma Hayek, who you're introduced to in this film absolutely splendidly, which we'll get to. We've got Jason Lee, who's Errol, my name is Errol, and he's doing his best kind of Jim Carrey in this film, the way he acts. And then we've got, uh, obviously, Chris Rock, Alanis Morissette, and George Carlin. Um, and I couple of A folk are sadly no longer with us, but what a cast, mate. I was seeing that obviously watching it again because of me doing this. You didn't really appreciate it at the time, know what I mean? Because see, the one the money really stars at that point, but were they? What were we talking? Nineteen ninety nine. Well, the budget was only ten million pound. Oh, dollars, ten million dollars, man. American dollars, USD, go America. Um, and it made, I so 10 million for that cast, it would be 10 million each, I would imagine. Aye. Aye. Plus. I'm trying to hang what Alan Rickman had done at that point. He was probably the, one of the biggest stars in it, wasn't he? Aye. Well, he was he's still big, but he wasn't huge because Harry Potter hadn't he taken off yet, had it? I know he'd done. Well, that really mainstream movie wise, I know he'd been in a lot of films, but it was obviously Hans Gruber, he was best known for no. that and Die Hard. No. It was, it was, was mere a thespian and treading the boards and all that. Was Robin Hood before this? Oh, I don't know, but that's a good shout, mate. No. Ah, I was brilliant in that, wasn't he? Hi, he's the best thing about it. <laughs> he, he is, he really is. Aye, uh, but uh, a... call him? some cast. That's amazing, mate. Amazing. So, the film, obviously, if you don't know anything about Dogma, read up on it a wee bit. You'll find it hard. Well, you won't be able to stream it because it's not on any streaming sites uh, because nobody will take it on. It's half of the problem, and the other half of the problem is Kevin Hart's rights were sold to the Weinstein Corporation. <laughs> and... Um, He's obviously been actively trying to get them back in the last 24 years, which has been quite hard, because it says if he ever does get them back, it can go in then and do a sequel. But that doesn't look likely. Yeah. But the film was... Kevin Hart knew it was going to be a wee bit of controversy, because Smith. people just can't... <laughs> Aye. <laughs> so it even had a disclaimer, didn't it, mate, before the film? Aye. The same disclaimer. Aye, disclaimer, this, this is just... 
comedy and all this, isn't he judging anybody? And then he actually goes on to slag the platypus. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know what I mean. But see Aye. this is see looking at this, it was like a modern day version of Life of Brian, really. Yeah. See in the same totally. context. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. having a pop at I mean, Christianity. <laughs> it's it's good to be Chris uh that uh Kevin Hart Kevin Hart, what am I saying? Kevin Smith does the disclaimer because he puts up disclaimer in the three definitions of what a disclaimer is. Because uh-huh. it's as if to say you're thick bastards, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then he jokingly tells you about the disclaimer saying, Look, calm the fuck down. This is a laugh, basically. But obviously it was greeted by a lot of pr- protests and stuff like that as well at the time. It was actually um, hilarious and all. But I actually came across this on Twitter. Do you know he joined a Christian group to protest this film? <laughs> <laughs> and he, get, he actually got interviewed. And he's like, ah, no, no, I'm I'm not a director. But I often get confused about him. <laughs> so, 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 I never knew that, mate. But oh, that's you, class. You can watch it. He actually yeah. protests his film. It's it's horrible. It's, dis- it's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's excellent. I need, to, I need to find that. But, um, this is back when Kevin Smith looked healthy, you know what I mean? The day he looks as if he's he's lost a lot of weight and he looks the worst for it, in my opinion. I well, had, had a heart attack in Osho. I think that's why he lost all the weight, wasn't it? Because he was, he was eating the pizzas and smoking the cigarettes and, uh, you know, being the big fat persons. <laughs> but he wasn't, he wasn't huge, he was just a healthy looking guy. <clears throat> anyway... We start off, it's in New Jersey, mate, isn't it? And it's just a wee kind of old man. He's at the beach. He's just looking out to the sea and smiling to himself, isn't he? Aye. Uh, the, the, the same place where Tony Soprano stands in his dream. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> exactly. But he's just, uh, he's like you say, he's out there admiring the sea, isn't he? And then these three wee bastards, these wee hoodlums. <laughs> Aye. I just call them the skater boys because they're... Aye. Like hockey sticks, and they've got rollerblades, aren't they? Aye. They just start circling like a pack of sharks, man. I do. <laughs> well, the guy that, uh, what's his name, Mister Freeze, didn't he take on for Batman and Robin, and they just <laughs> live their dream, <laughs> wearing skates and ice hockey. <laughs> their audition, the bastards. Aye. But what they do is they, they menacingly circle with this wee old man, uh, knock him to the floor, and then set about him with the hockey sticks, didn't you? Aye. And that's your opening scene. Aye. Quickly just goes to somewhere else. And what is it? It's still New Jersey again, isn't it? Illinois. Ah, it's still New Jersey. Sorry, it's another uh, Fravidence. It's another, another planet. <laughs> New Jersey, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, the Cardinal, played by uh, George Carlin. And it's quite funny. It's just him trying to rebrand Catholicism and Christianity. Isn't it? <laughs> He's like, I... Oh, people! People are getting bold and all that, but we we're here. We know what it's like. Mind that? Is it? Mind the Sunderland documentary? Um, never watched it, mate. What what is it called? Something in lights or something? Well, what I see the the second one. They get this other guy on board, and then see instead of their traditional song before kickoff and all that, he starts playing Tiesto and he's like, "Yes, yes," in this boardroom <laughs> and all like that. Aye, fucking brilliant. It's like, but he just starts going. Um, well, we, we're not going to use this symbol anymore, and it's VJC on the cross. Not, I mean, all fucking crucified and stuff. He's like, this is depressing. We don't want to be part of this anymore. We want to be revitalized. So this is what we're going to go with: the buddy Jesus, <laughs> buddy Christ. <laughs> And it's that, it's probably one of the very first and most used memes ever. And it's the the JC oh, saying, man. Jesus loves you, but I think you're a cunt. <laughs> but it's see the, the banner and all, uh, Catholicism. Wow. <laughs> Do you like the PlayStation? Oh, dear. Oh, man. It's just, uh, it's so funny, man. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's just getting your kind of a semblance of what's, <laughs> what's happening. Really, the world is down on religion. Now we then end up in an airport terminal, and we've got um, a nun trying to get to a flight or off her flight. And we've got Matt Damon walking beside her just denouncing Catholicism and Christianity. Uh, so much so that he makes her question her faith and go to the world and all that. Oh. And we've got Ben Affleck just sitting in the chair going, laughing as if doing this again, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it turns out that the two of them are um. exiled angels um, that have been sent to Earth just to walk the Earth until the end of man. And they're oh. Loki and Bartleby. Oh. <laughs> Because the whole thing into it that Loki is the person that, well, apart in this story anyway, he's the angel that punishes sinners. He's wrath, isn't he? Aye, but seeing what he says to her at the end, go find a guy, go find a lady. Aye. <laughs> like explore the world before it's too late. <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, right back to Vince Vaughn, isn't it? You want to touch? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Next thing you know, you're playing just a tip. I don't know. What's happened? You interested? Am I interested? Who's interested? We don't know. Oh, but I, but I guess that they're into a conversation into the two angels and Loki asks Bartleby, um, what's, why are we here? And he's just, he can, he's seen everybody's past into it. And he's just saying that I like watching the humans here because you can see it's the best of them. They come here. Everything's forgiven and all that. And they start saying, like, these two here, she cheated on this guy. Twice. <laughs> and Loki's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, but, but it doesn't matter, because look at them. That one moment. Perfect. One moment. So he's, he at that stage, Bartleby can see the kind of, the good things about humanity. But Loki's missing his job. <laughs> he has to go in a fucking, he went, they, they went back in heaven. There's only one way they can get back to heaven. It's either the end of man or to have all their sins forgiven. So the church were just left there for some reason has offered an archway of absolution, no matter what you've done. And they found a paper cutting and he's like, well, I found a loophole. So, and they say, if we get to this church, walk through the arches, all's forgiven and we can get back to heaven because that's all the way to do, isn't it? Why do you go home? <laughs> that's it, isn't it? But <laughs> Loki just gets the idea, no? Oh, in the way, why don't we just kill some sinners like these people? And he talks about this company. I can't remember what it was called. The, the Muf- Muffy Goofy Company or something. Muffy. Muffy. <laughs> Muffy. It's, like, it's like their version of probably Barney or the Disney Corporation. Do you know what I mean? It's this Aye. false idol. And he's, <laughs> he's just, how do we need to get there? Uh, it happens in four, because all, I've got to get there at a certain day and it's four days away. And as you say, mate, why not just, you know, kill some sinners? Hey, Jesus doesn't, God doesn't want that. Fucking right he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. But, but... They're in the lift, aren't they? And just as the doors are shutting, he says, uh, if, I'd a, I, if I'd a dick, I'd fuck somebody at all. But what would we going to do instead? We'll just kill some people. And a wee woman goes, yeah. goes <laughs> not you. <laughs> I <laughs> and the next the next best thing, kill some people. She's like, oh, Jesus. Oh right. <laughs> glad. But next scene it just cuts to like a different wee church on it and Illinois. <laughs> just everybody just isn't paying attention to this I'll say priest. He's just rhyming ass stuff what like, there's a, a homeless man, he's been beat up and all that we're collecting for this guy, but as it pans Aye. up through all the pews there's just different like, grades are no paying attention to anything <laughs> Aye. There's a guy on the earphones just chewing chewing gum looking to the sky there's two Waynes, sparked out sleeping, <laughs> other people doing their nails checking their, their pagers whatever um, no one, but see the first, the first line that comes out that priest's myth and before today's second collection, <laughs> <laughs> obviously the pot's going out fucking every 10 minutes, you know what I mean? <sighs> and you don't realise it at the time, but the thing they're collecting for is the John Doe Society. Yeah. And that becomes relevant later on. 
So like you're saying, it's padding up the pews, still quite busy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it gets to Bethany, who's again sitting there, but she's disillusioned as well, and she's she's losing her faith, mate, isn't she? Aye. Aye, she can recite the prayer stuff and all that, no bother, but there's just no enthusiasm about it at all. I don't know. And I mean, quickly find out why. <laughs> See this bit, man, I can't believe this, man. <laughs> so the next bit, it cuts to outside a clinic, right? And there's these, what is it? Pro life activists. I the pro life protesters out there with signs and all this. And see, last night when I was watching this again, I was like, I can't believe we're still talking about this bitch. <laughs> what the fucking hell, man? Oh, yes, pal, isn't it? Liz, she's just walking to work and it's <laughs> protesters. You fucking baby killer. <laughs> And she just goes like, oh, look, there's the Pope. And you turn her in. <laughs> she goes into work. Fucking hell, man. It's just, oh, I couldn't believe that last night. I was at. Obviously, I didn't pay attention. 1999, know what I mean? I was at. No paying attention to that sort of shit. But I can't believe it's still like, being protested and all this shit. Like, Jesus, That's man. That's it. So we very quickly find out that when Liz goes in, it's a women's clinic they work in, which is basically an abortion clinic, and Bethany is working there. So you're like, oh, she's working there, and she's been in the chapel and that. Mm-hmm. But we quickly find out that her faith is gone. She thinks, she mentions that, where was God when uh, he took my, my uterus and all that? No. So she's obviously, can he reproduce? And where was God when my husband left me? So no. you've got to think as well, what a career choice, man. I can't have Wednesday. I'm going to start killing other people. <laughs> <laughs> what? And that's when I became a serial killer. But <laughs> <laughs> but she does say a, a line is like, and you believe her, she's just, she's looking, she's disillusioned. She says, I really think God is dead. Do you know what I mean? Aye. But then cuts to another scene, doesn't it? And it's... Aye. Jason it's... Lee as Ace Ventura. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name is Errol. What a man. But oh, there's so much time for that guy. So much time for him. I mean... Again, I listened back to your 40-year-old virgin. I mean, mention my name is Errol in it, and I says, I need to get on that. I need to watch it, and I've still not done it, man. Oh, dear. I need to get on it. Oh, mate, I'm actually going to form a... I'm going to form a protest group. And we're actually going to get the ending of My Name is Errol that we fucking deserve. But... Hope you're right, mate. Hope it happens. But... but he's at the door. He's got the white man from Del Monte sit on. He's like acting <laughs> like he's a salesman to this woman. Can I just ask you a question, madam? Do you have central air? She's like, ah, I've got central air con. That's great. And he kills her just to get in the house and turns on the, the AC bill. Just before it takes his hat after it, he goes... Yeah. And the wee horns come out. <laughs> aye. aye, like he says, he turns on the AC and he's just loving life, isn't he? Because well, he's been doing hell, hasn't he? That's what he's he Azrael. Aye, Azrael. So he's like, oh, you just kind of whack this. And then we've got the fucking Mr. Freeze rejects come out. He's like, will you pick that up? <laughs> and I just drag this wee woman into the house. You know what I mean? It's fucking, oh. Superb, man. So, he tells the hockey trio to find the last scion who is Bethany, but we don't know that at this time, because she's the only threat to everything that's going on here, nor that, and I don't want to go back to hell. So, find her. Fucking kill her, kind of thing. Um, and then, very quickly, we're back to Bethany, who's in her house, in her bed, just uh, <laughs> all melancholy, isn't she? Aye, oh, well, getting ready to go to sleep for a night, isn't it? But she's disturbed by this. This big flame just erupts in her room, didn't it? And then you've just, <laughs> you've just got this voice just uttering things that are not, I mean, but she's like, ah, the fuck? <laughs> it's quite funny, but isn't it, man? Because see, when he's, you don't see him yet, you just see the flames, you just hear the can be bothered fucking. All rise for the man, the voice, the one and only, the keeper of all secrets, 
Just as, oh, I need to say this disclaimer before I come in. Oh. And then it's like a poof, and it's fucking Alan Rickman just standing there in it. Aye, because she jumps up with an extinguisher, doesn't she? And she puts him out, and that's when he's like, Where's your bloody problem? <laughs> Aye, you need to super slow mo her cat wheeling out her bed and cotton white panties. <laughs> it's magic. Oh, Aye, she one. picks her vase up, flings it at the flames, and it's Oh, what you go do that for? <laughs> <laughs> Look right. at my suit. And it's Ronald <laughs> Weasley. <laughs> Potter. Uh, where are my detonators? <laughs> oh, man, you guys see that? How to be it, uh, Mr. Policeman. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Clay. Bill Clay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell. Aye, but he's just right with half, isn't he? Um, just, do you soak everybody in anti-flammable uh, liquids and all this? No, no one of your single and all this. And she, she's just like, just take what you want, just don't rape me or kill me. And he's like, oh, come off it. <laughs> I couldn't rape you if I wanted to. He drops his drawers and he's getting no genitalia. You're like, what's going on here? I mean, even just before that, she's holding a, a baseball bat. Get the fuck out of my house. What are you going to do? Hit me with that fish. She looks at the bat and it turns into a fish. She's like, oh. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, but, he's like, mate, I, can, I forgot all about that. So when I was watching that the other night, I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> So he explains to her who he is. He says he's Metrodon. Um, he's the voice of God. Um, he's an angel, basically. And she's like, no buying it and stuff. He's dropped his drawer to show the Jenna Taylor's missing. He says that's one of the, the drawbacks of this job. And she's like, oh, what's going you know, on? I've got the anatomy of a Ken doll. <laughs> he goes, like, you still don't believe me then? She goes, no. Even though he just does that. And his wings came out, didn't he? Quite Aye. impressive. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's still no like that. She's like, ah, come on. But it, I mean, and it's, it's an elaborate prank if it was to that point, you know what I mean? But Aye. the next thing he just clicks his fingers, didn't he? And they're in the middle of this pub, restaurant thing. Mexican, uh, Mexican uh, place. Aye. Uh, tequila, por favor. That's the way. She's like, we, we fucking Mexico? And he goes, we're in a Mexican restaurant just down the street for your house, but you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes like, oh, man, so you're definitely an angel. And he goes, aye. And then he starts drinking his tequila and spitting it out. <laughs> and she's just watching them. And then, the thing we've got to say earlier, what we started to say that earlier when we met Bartleby and Loki, and now met, see when we meet all these angels and prophets and stuff like that, see their dialogue, it's fucking brilliant. Aye. So much so that, couldn't he add they couldn't he write it down and nah. and thing it's just it's biblical and it's factual and it's it's done for a modern perspective. It's great, man. Aye, aye, definitely. It's aye, it's, it's not the old testament, you know what I mean? It's just blotted at you in modern speak like you just say. Huh? But layman terms, mate. Um, <laughs> it's even like she's like, You know God? Oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm the voice of God. What's he like? Ah, he's he's good. Oh, he's funny. Ah, he's funny. Uh, <laughs> he's funny. Thought about like his wee Davy for down the road. <laughs> oh, like, well, what's the, the deal with the spit and the tequila? I went, well, apart from having no genitalia, the other thing we're not allowed to have is let alcohol enter our system. Mm -hmm. It's a real bummer. <laughs> <laughs> really. But he goes, gets to the point, really, doesn't he? And it's just that he says to Beth, we need you to stop two angels entering a church. <laughs> and she's like, I mean, she's just been whipped away out of bed into this Mexican place and all that, and she's still like that. Eh? Eh? I <laughs> want to send you on a holy crusade. Now, I can't make you do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like fucking Del Boy instead of Alan Rickman, but... <laughs> um, Hello, Del Boy. It does it felt... Hi. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> no, Plonka. Um, but he fills her in. He says, I two angels that God sent down. Next to open, get in this fucking church. That's it. Aye. Aye, Can I text it... her? 
roll. I, I think angels only allowed back into heaven, isn't it? Because that would prove that God was wrong to do what he done and just undo the world. So, well, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. And that would uh, prove that God was wrong. We can't have that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but he tells me, he says, he says, but don't worry. You're not going to do this alone. You're going to have help. Um, you're going to have a prophet with you and all that kind of stuff. It How do I know the, them? When I, you'll know it, them. It tells the story. Anyway, well, what actually happened was Loki killed all these people and then he went and had an after genocide drink with Balfobie that told him, you need to stop doing this. So God took it the wrong way <laughs> when Loki stuck the finger up to him and threw something. <laughs> Aye. Because he explains, he says, she's like, so what does Loki do then? And she goes, well, you know, the, and he rhymes off all these disasters throughout history. That was him. <laughs> the 12 plagues, that was him. <laughs> the great earthquake, Mount Vesuvius, that was Loki. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it, it, it well, was we... good at his job. <laughs> Aye. Uh, but you're right, mate. It's quite funny just the way he says, he just got a, I had an after couple of drinks, <laughs> an after party. You <laughs> know what I mean? Brilliant. Right, but she does probably... question. She says, "I so that's God. Like, where was he when he fucking took took my womb and my husband left me and blah blah blah." Um, but he just kind of palms that off and says, "What does he say again?" Just I'm trying to give you a, the greatest task in the history of man to save your fellow man, and all you're worried about is you and your problems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I chin up, charge on, but. Like he says, he says, I like he says that there's got there'll be two prophets who'll come, they'll announce themselves as prophets, and they'll help you along with your journey. <laughs> and he goes, What's happening to Maracas? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she wakes up in her bed, doesn't she? Aye, uh, with the Maracas in her bed, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it cuts back to the clinic, doesn't it? And it's night time. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, it's Beth, Beth, she's got your car. And the next thing, the Batman villains are back. <laughs> and it's like she's trying to put her key in and it's one goes by her, but she turns her in and everywhere's empty. She can't see them. And this happens for a wee bit. She ropes her keys and then she sees them, didn't she? And they start circling her, getting by her and all that. Knock yeah. her to the ground, didn't they? Aye. Uh, they're about to do her in and then two guys just come out of nowhere. It's like they dropped in, isn't it? <laughs> I Jay shout something, but I don't know what it is, man. <laughs> Ground it again last night. But do you know how tired I was last night? Remember I said she was doing the notes and I fell asleep. I was so tired, I felt like I was drunk. I was like, fuck you. Like all the time, you know what I mean? It's horrible. Because <laughs> um, I never go down to sit down to watch these to after 11 o'clock. It was murder. Uh, but I, two heroes came in and start leathering the, the skater boy trio, didn't they, man? Aye, just so get these this this young mob a scheme booting. You know what I mean? Send them up the road. <laughs> it's just you see that up. fucking aye? Jay's mouse fucking terrible, man. Aye, so I know they might be kids. But we we beat their pubescent asses, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets up, goes, "Thanks, guys." All that it goes, it goes like, "Yeah, no problem." You want to you know pay us or fuck us or something like that for helping you out. <laughs> Right to the point. She's just <laughs> bemused. What? No, no, I don't want to. Who are you? I'm Jane. This is my my good pal. Doesn't he say much? Silent Bob. He <laughs> doesn't say much at all. <laughs> She's like, I know. Wait, why are you here anyway? He's on the protesters, I guess. No, no, we just thought it'd be a nice place to meet women. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh. Tied in a abortion clinic. Well, aye, we know they're good to the boys, so we thought, <laughs> why not? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, pure mad logic. Oh. Oh, Jesus, man. But next time we know, we've got Loki and Burnleby in, nice. the, in the guns and ammo shop, aren't they? And they're going through all these weapons, and Loki's no happy. He says, doesn't he really have the. <laughs> not as sophisticated as a lightsaber. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Aye. 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 It hasn't got the gravitas of a, a sword on fire, but it'll do. You know what I mean? I'm just And then they start arguing the old, the, the mass genocides and all that, isn't it? 
I think it was well deserved. <laughs> exactly. And he goes like, what are you talking about? No, that doesn't he take anything to, to, to wipe out people. And we Loki just says, hey, look, man, mass genocide is one of the most exhausting activities one can engage in next to soccer. <laughs> <laughs> What's he says? brilliant. I, I, I reamed doing sulfur. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> Why? I mean, any, any arsehole can buy a box of matches and light a fire. I reamed doing sulfur. That's taxing. Do you know what I mean? That's There's a level of stability has got to be adhered to here. Um, oh. It's just funny. The patter's so good. See, that's Matt Damon. He's fucking one of the best actors on the planet. Just this, I don't know, lovable... New Jersey, educated bit of a dick. He's fucking <laughs> great. Absolutely great. Uh, <laughs> they said, well, so, back to aye, back the diner, to Jay, Jay and Bob in this diner. And Jay's just, <laughs> so you got to fuck us? I want to go first, because I don't like uh, sloppy seconds and all that, and wee Bob's like that. <laughs> I'm good with that, aye. She's like, look, 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 guy, calm the fuck down. Where do you stay? And they say it, they say it, and they're three fucking miles away, another state. And she's like, what brought you here? John Hughes. The, the director, John Hughes. 16 Candles, John Hughes. Yeah, man. And then he starts rhyming off all the John Hughes films. Pretty mm-hmm. in pink. The fucking Breakfast Club. He says, what do all these films have in common? Hot chicks and douchebag pussy-ass guys. <laughs> so we came to Little Town, Illinois, and you know what? It doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> <laughs> They're all setting the one down. Oh, oh bro, no, man. Man. Aye, because he's like, I mean, I, I can't even watch uh, 16 Candles with this guy anymore. I mean, because when she meets her dream, <laughs> her dream guy, this guy, he just starts bubbling. You know how sad it is to watch a fed man cry? <laughs> oh, he's taking numbers in, he's like, Aye. And then he just flips it on a coin again, get back to the sex thing. And he's like, so, so, what the fuck, man? Do you do anal? Is it true the chicks fart when you blast them in the ass? She's just... Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh so good, man. She's like, I'm not going to fuck these, but I need your help. I need you. I can't believe I'm asking you this. But I need you to come with me. Hey, fucking right on, man. <laughs> exactly. You want to go steady, baby? Right, okay, you can be my girlfriend, but Bob gets to live with us and you pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> e Bob's like that, fucking, I like that. That's a good, that works for me. Oh, She's oh, like, look, man. no, but I need you to come with me and help me. And she tells him what it is, and she sounds unconvinced herself saying it out loud. Aye. But she says, look, I'll pay you. Huh? She says, I'll give you $100 each if you come to me to New Jersey. A lot. Yeah, fucking down with that fucking shit, man. <laughs> um, so they're in the car. He goes like, I, but I drive. <laughs> like, so, you know, they're on the motorway and it's gone 80, 90, 100 miles an hour and the engine's fucking screaming. <laughs> he's like, hey, man, what gear are you in? She, he's like, gear? <laughs> oh. Aye, the motor the gear box. Aye, and they're just like, ah, fucking stranded. And then this bus comes by them, eh, this coach, sorry, and on the coach as the two angels, you know what I mean? And they're having a discussion that, and then it's Loki, he's like, ah, all, the, all the sins are all the same. He's like, ah, I mean, they never change. And Bartleby's like, ah, nah, I think I think you've lost your gift. You kind of tell who's a sinner or no, and you've just got this Aye. couple in it, they're just... Kissing and all that in the seat. <laughs> just starts interrupting I him. can spark a I can spark a commandment breaker from a fucking mile away. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What? Are you married? Yes. <laughs> to her? What do you think? They <laughs> no. I just pulls out this gun. He smiles at Bartleby, didn't he? And he goes, see, told you. Whips out his gun and just obviously shoots these two poor bastards. But Probably. they all get a first bus into it. They're all running away. And he just starts shouting a song or something, didn't he? Whose house? Ron's house. 
<laughs> Whose house? Big Ron's house. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, but touch back to the next day, isn't it? Because it's daylight and it's Beth, Bob, and Jay. <laughs> she's just said enough and she, she's like, that's it. I'm away. And my Jay's like, what the fuck, man? You're breaking up with us? <laughs> Nobody's fucking me. Do you get that? Oh, so fucking goes like that. Jesus, lady, fucking yeah. I you think you might treat her with a wee bit more respect? Fucking guys don't just fall out the sky. He <laughs> Rufus falls out the sky, and Jay hinks about it for a while, and he goes, "Naked fat chicks with big titties don't just fall out the sky." <laughs> Hoping for some <laughs> other Oh, bro, man, but. That's how we're introduced to Rufus, isn't he? He's obviously Chris Rock. <laughs> so he says to me, hey, Bob, didn't he? Yeah, he gives you a jacket. <laughs> he goes to give you a jacket and she's like, come on, man, his piece is going to be rubbing against your shit. <laughs> Aye. And it's, it's classic Chris Rock because Jay's fucking saying shit to him. He goes, hey, man, falling from heaven and hitting the ground gave me a Fucking migraine. <laughs> but Beth starts talking to him, doesn't he? And getting the lowdown and all that stuff. He's like, I'm the 13th apostle and all that. It's like, what's the 13th apostle? It's like, you try to tell me you know Jesus? No, him. He owes me 12 bucks. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I... oh, oh, man. I, I to start with that wee bit when I wrote it, didn't I? <laughs> oh. But, but he talks again just informatively in layman's terms to her, saying, talking about being part of JC's crew as if it's just down in Third Street, you know what I mean? Hanging uh, out with the guys. Um, and then he goes like, ah, well, what about the... Why do, why do you think you never hear about Jesus for the ages of 13 to, to 30? What happened in the years? And do you think he just fucking became God, uh, the son of God and all that? No, there was a process. Um, and then she starts hitting him with the, the Virgin Mary, never touched by a man, aye, before Jesus. Mm-hmm. But what about the brothers and sisters? <laughs> Jesus had brothers and sisters. He goes, like, you fucking kidding me? He says, you think Joseph's going to stay with that woman and not get some ass? <laughs> <laughs> aye. Oh, it's so but that's all I think I know. And t- <laughs> it's Rufus, he starts grabbing, man, didn't he? He's like, and all you, all you see, we've got all got the wrong idea of Jesus. Jesus was black. <laughs> see my bob like that. I what? Never. Oh, so broken. Oh, see, that's me. Actually, I guess it's probably the funniest part. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's talking about. Eh, uh, there's no mention of me in the Bible, but all these other twelve white guys have got to choose for you, but nay, Rufus. <laughs> he's like, I'm wanting some changes in here. Exactly, and that's what he's that's what he's uh, his handle is for coming down. Getting it doesn't get sent down. He comes down to help her. And he says, "Look, I want to help you, but I want my fucking I want my recognition or that." You know what I mean? She's like, is "Cool." He, is this something I like, I could have been knee deep in shepherd's daughters. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, if I was the thirteenth oh. apostle, man, he says. But instead, I was fucking stoned. Do you know what I mean? Stoned to, she goes like, you were stoned to death. And he goes like, uh, I would actually like to de- describe it as being bludgeoned to death with big fucking rocks. <laughs> oh, but I all gets up to the point that Bethany, it's too much for her, isn't it? And she gets up to walk away. Because he tells her that, is it then that he tells her that he's related, she's related through to Jesus? Is it that point? Just before it, it's just say, aye. But just before it, he says to her, he says, do you know what fucking... Uh, angels have a lot of time to do. And she was like, "What? Watch the living." And she's like, "Bullshit!" No, that calls it bullshit. He goes, "All right." And she says, "When you were five, you're like a little boy pushing your hair." <laughs> <laughs> I never told anybody that. And he goes, "Neither did he." And two years later, that wee boy, the, the two of them, name him, died. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, she's like, "Fucking hell, mate!" That's what he says. And all he goes, <laughs> "Dude." So Jay's like, dude, do you watch me? He's like, yeah, I. So, like, so what do I do? She goes, you, you, you're the person that masturbates most on the planet. And he goes, 
Ah, oh, shit, man. Everybody knows that. Tell me something nobody knows. And he goes, you think about guys while you're doing it. He's like, uh. <laughs> and we bobs, ah. Uh, it's a fucking bar for you. He goes, he just did the night. He just goes, ah. <laughs> Does he deny it? Just says no all the time. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, man. <laughs> so, tells her about that, about the wanking. <laughs> and then they end up, hey, end up in a titty bar, didn't they? Aye. Oh, aye, because they, aye, Bob and Jay disappear into it and they need to go finding them. And they walk into this place. And again, <clears throat> this must have been part of Salma Hayek's fucking contract because see when you see her in Dust Hold On she's up on a stage dancing <laughs> when you see her here up on a stage dancing you know what I mean and it's... And pants however in this film she's got pigtails a lollipop and a big pair of specs on <laughs> you know what oh. I mean oh there's my halo away <laughs> 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 Lord, I apologise for that. That's better. Okay, it's back. It's back, people. Get the nasty thoughts out of there. I've been forgiven. Aye, they're just watching her in awe. And you can see Jane Silent Bob at one side of the stage and there's a, a gang of black people at the other side of the stage. And they're filling up dollar bills and having a bidding war for her, aren't they? <laughs> just two dollars, three dollars, five. <laughs> and how much money has wee Bob got, by the way? Because he ends up with like, nearly fucking five hundred dollars or something. You know what I mean? He's <laughs> but obviously, but we, we flicked, didn't we? To the movie, aye, <laughs> boardroom. <laughs> oh mate, see this. This, this is another brilliant bit because it's just Bartleby. I he he's walking around and he's talking to everybody in the boardroom. And he's just announcing all their sins to them, isn't he? And it's just right. like, you got your wife drunk and had an intern have sex with her so you could dump her. You disowned your gay son. <laughs> and he goes right round the table when he comes to the, the one woman on the board. And he goes, you? You're a good person. <laughs> so like, well done. Well done. Good on you, hen. But he gets to the head of the table, the head of the board guy. Um and says, you, I can't even say it loud, what you've done. And then he whispers something and then recoils back and goes like that. I mean, that was your son. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's like, oh, they're too deviant bastard. But the whole point of them being there is this movie, which I can only describe as being fucking probably Mickey Mouse in Disneyland. This is the, the golden false idol. Yeah. And that's how they spin it. That's how Loki spins it. I mean, look at that. Worshipping false idols and all that. You're distracting for God, and God doesn't like that. <laughs> but they kind of walk out, didn't they? Aye, aye, because I, I think he's an odd. Uh, Loki's cut up an onion to look like a wee man, and he's like, This, this is voodoo, isn't it? This is you. And he slams it down, and this guy's that freaked. He's like, Oh, because it is a bit tense, isn't it? You know what I mean? It is. Loki walks out like that. He's in a shower of dirty bastards. <laughs> and walks out. And they're all about to, about to get back to business, isn't it? And the next thing, Loki comes back in and just starts doing everybody in. You know what I mean? The whole time, Bartleby's outside reading a magazine. Like, Where does he get this shit? Aye. <laughs> so, but when Bartleby, 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 he's at the set of American accent, because back into the boardroom and it's all carnage and blood and all that. Loki's just about to kill fucking innocent Liz. And you, you didn't say... God bless you when I sneezed. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. Hey, leave her luck. <laughs> it goes You're fucking lucky. I, you get enough light, man. <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant, man. Blood everywhere. But back to the strippers, isn't it? And it's... That's a titty bat. Uh, Serendipity. That's Salma's name, isn't it? Isn't it? Serendipity, aye. 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 She's another one. I have no vagina. <laughs> Okay. Aye, because Rufus goes like, God damn, I knew I knew that chick's face. Sam Dibbity. Like, fucking who? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Because he goes like, why, why, why did you get your, yourself big tits and all that? <laughs> so, so I did them. You know what I mean? I know. 
paid for him not acting like him that. <laughs> so they're having a, a back and forth again, just like pals that haven't seen each other in a long time. But they're again the biblical dialogue is strong and Salma Hayek's fucking Aye. rhyming off like one shoot things amazing by the way. Aye. Aye, cause she says that she's responsible for nineteen of the last like twenty blockbusters she's responsible for making them successes. And she goes, nineteen out of twenty? And he went, nah, home alone, see the man made a beat. Oh and he's like, somebody somebody sold their soul to the devil to make that fucking successful. <laughs> I'm not putting my name against that shit. Because <laughs> uh, she doesn't even say homo. She just says, you know, that one about the little boy who's left by his parents in the house and slaps his face. <laughs> but, wait, man. but all the time, all the, all the while, you, you, you just see a, one of the black gangs got up off the toilet and then the toilet starts to look good, uh, jobby. Fecal which matter. Is Scottish for excrement well done mate fecal matter that's probably <laughs> the best way to describe it aka um, shite <laughs> uh, so it's a, a back and forth of them talking to the toilet to them talking to the toilet and this it can only be described as a jobby monster <laughs> forums <laughs> not to be confused by a monster jobby is what you usually have after a good night out <laughs> I, I predict one of them later so they're talking, and then the toilet door explodes out. And that's fucking mad. It does look minging, because you see it from behind the back of its ankle, and it's oh, coming down, that big jobby master. <laughs> so the wee black gang, hey, man, we'll deal with this shit. <laughs> and they all go for it, didn't they? And they all charge in with guns, didn't they? But whatever happens, happens off screen, because you're looking at the main characters, and they're all going, Oh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> I, then you just see the aftermath, Jobby Monster laughing. Oh, oh. And the the, the gangs are lying about the place, splattered and shite. <laughs> <laughs> see when they're running away from it as well. They run away and they dive behind the bar and it shoots just a big massive fucking shark at them, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. See when they're behind there, like uh, Beth says to Sergeant Dippity, what the fuck is that? She goes, ah, well, and she explains it great, man. She says, well, you know, like back in biblical times, not that, when people were put up in the crucifix, and obviously when people die, they boiled their bills, they get into this big hole. So that's that's what that is. That's uh, hundreds of years of dead bodies, bodily fluids, got a hole. They're like, oh, shit, hell. <laughs> what are we going today? I don't know. And then Bob just fucking did, 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 did. <laughs> jumps out, doesn't he, mate? Inside pocket oh, whips out this wee canister. Aye. <laughs> I just sprays it into it and it takes out this demon that just lies down KO'd. And what is it? I Bethany says to him, What did you do? And he's like, I just whips out this wee canister and it says, Fights bad odors, knocks out bad odors. She's like, "Why would you have that?" <laughs> I know. And then Jay farts, didn't he? All <laughs> oh, right, okay, I get it. Oh man! So the next thing we know, we're at the bus station in Azrael. Um, well, looking Bartleby are there, and they're just trying to get to New Jersey, but there's no buses. So just as they're walking away from the counter, Azrael's. <laughs> doing this with Judai again. Well, well, wow. Well. <laughs> Haven't met you. Hey, man, how are you? Me Loki's excited. My God, Azrael, man, you're looking good, man. How are you? You know what right. I mean? I've not seen you since, whatever. You know what I mean? But Azrael gives them the lowdown, doesn't it? That everybody in heaven's looking for you. Everybody in hell's looking for you. He's like a concerned uncle. Aye. <laughs> hey, listen, everybody's out looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, you need to keep a low profile. I mean, nay wings, nay killing, that's high profile shit. Know what I mean? You just you need to get yourself to New Jersey, lads. <laughs> keep it low, under the radar, get to the church, get through the arts because the last scion's looking for you. Lad. The last si- what? Who? What? <laughs> so, the last scion's obviously the only person that can stop him. Can you hear me farting? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no. I've been farting quite a lot. I just thought I'd say that on the pod there. I've got off the wind. I, especially when I was talking about that jobby monster. You uh, just caught me off guard there. So you hear me farting? <laughs> Uh, I don't know how much the background. <laughs> but you can't come in. I better stop that because I'm going to lose my halo again. I'm going to stop that. <laughs> so, wow. uh, tell us about my last sigh on. The next thing we know, Ruthus is talking to, to Beth again about like Catholicism is killing religion. So it's not just religion's dying, it's Catholicism that's killing it. No. And she's like, well, well, why? Why is it killing? It? She's because you guys don't fucking celebrate religion. You mourn it. You know what I mean? No. Quite a good way to look at it. That's it, really. And all becomes a bit much, does it not? And she's like, <laughs> no, it's not that. In it. It's uh, either deciding to go on a train into it, decide to I, go on a train, and uh, they're walking through the train, and the next thing, Jane Bob. Talking to two people, isn't it? Was it Johnny and Bobby or something they called herself? <laughs> La- no. Larry and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so they start with the same two first letters, you know what I mean? Aye. And it's just like, oh, these guys, these guys are cool as fuck, on us. And that's when you see it, it's the two angels, and you're going, oh, shit. <laughs> Aye. When you first see it, you think, bastard man, they've caught them. But Aye. they actually don't know who each other is yet. <laughs> Just a just a happening coincidence. I know. And then it comes, it comes to the scene. Jay, Jay Hodden's uh, Loki, a joint in it. And obviously Loki's at it. He goes, <laughs> hides the joint and kids and he takes up off and he's like, that's good shit, man. <laughs> Aye. So Beth is talking to Bartleby and they're just having a back and forth about religion and the two of their two ethos impresses the other one quite heavy and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but she goes like, we're going to need drinks. We're going to need a lot of drinks. Uh, what is it she says? And she goes, eh, so when did you two meet? Oh, well, we've been together for years. She's like, that's great. How did you meet? Oh, we we're stationed together. <laughs> and she's like, see, that's what I'm saying. The military, this macho man and all that, and you find your love. And he's like, we're not gay. <laughs> I am so sorry. That's when she decides to get lots of drinks. Which in classic American fucking movie style is a rake of miniatures. Aye, aye. It's. I mean, you only see generally. I've only ever seen miniatures at Christmas. But that's <laughs> the only time I've seen them. I don't. I, I've never walked into a shop and you can buy miniatures, apart from at Christmas. Aye, I know what you mean. The only one, well, as they're kind of in Tesco day at now, we can kind of sample. Whiskies and sample wines that are wee miniatures. It's not even as much as a glass for the wine man, do you know what I mean? It's just to, to let you try it. But see the the off license in Anderson, just next to the subway, GG's. Yeah. They've got millions, mate. It's quite good. But there's people collect them, not that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that was just a rant there. <laughs> Aye. Aye. But Beth reveals to Arthur be into how she lost her faith and it's how like she, when she was she was found out she couldn't have wains in it she was talking to her ma and her ma says it's part of God's plan and then that was like the kind of last straw wasn't it aye, she's pissed at this stage isn't she aye <laughs> aye if it was your ma coming for a night out it'd be oh my boys <laughs> <laughs> she's that pissed you do. <laughs> Aye, do that thing. Get him out of his bed. Go on and show your Uncle Davy how to do it. Do that thing. Remember, I liked it. What thing? The thing you done yesterday. What thing? That fucking thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Bed. What? Bed. Go to your room. Go your room. (laughs) I was sleeping. (laughs) All the drunk people shaking their head in disappointment at you. Aye. Something up with that. Something up with that boy, Brenda. (laughs) Aye, aye, it's not right. You brought shame on the house. <laughs> Only seven time. That's no fucking excuse. Now I don't care what, what age he is. It's three in the morning. Fucking the man. Uh, it's his age. I had three jobs. <laughs> you know when I was eight years old, I used to get up before I went to my bed in the morning. Do you know that? 
Uh, I came here with three pens and a, a solid out of date slice of bread for the family. <laughs> Just the nineties in the one. The nineties in the one bed. <laughs> I loved it my birthday because that was the day you got to eat first in the house. Uh, me and my nine brothers and sisters. Used to lie there listening to my dad hump my ma. Hushed. <laughs> well, the one ember oh. of coal burnt out in the fire. 20 below outside it was. Oh. I'll tell you what, but better days. They were great days. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> better times. Better times. <laughs> Could you leave your door open. <laughs> Right. Oh. There's no phones then, no oh. televisions, just oh. the haunting sounds of your Dan tap of your mouth. <laughs> Wait, and your tenth sibling coming. That was fucking magic. <laughs> oh. When she was get, when she was get pumped. She was out down the stairs that close, talking about people, constantly talking about people. Oh, my dad was out making, <laughs> making boats. <laughs> making boats in the yard. <sighs> oh, his doorstep cheese piece. <laughs> Flat cap. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, where's this went? What's happened? Oh. Oh. Aye. Oh. So Beth has just blurted out everything. So much so that Bartleby's now he now knows who they are and he's like, oh shit, man. But before there was a wee bit of a standoff, and then Bob just comes into his own, didn't he? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Uh, he gets because a, a stramash starts on the, the train, doesn't it? Because obviously Bartleby's got Beth and he's got a broken bottle up to her neck. Rufus is trying to negotiate, and then, like you say, it's Bob just arson next, bulky <laughs> the whole <Arson> time. Next. <laughs> bulky oh. the whole time's like that. I'll get half at the next stop, Camden. <laughs> Well, we, even then, it's comedic, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so he flings him out, as you say, arse and neck. Brilliant. <laughs> and then Bartleby gets flung out as well. Aye, so he does. We, and then that's, when that's Bob... Good, man. Aye. Aye. What did you do? You do it, mate. All right, well, aye, he comes back for to throw him out, and he's obviously dusting his horns off. And there's just <laughs> this wee guy in the corner, wide-eyed, terrified. And it's just no ticket. <laughs> like, hey, Andy, yes. <laughs> yes. Which is, I have heard them saying it was obviously a no to one of his favourite other films. Mm -hmm. um, see that wee guy that's hiding there? See when you look at the picture on the train? Uh, it's him. It's the wee guy. <laughs> <laughs> Advertising a movie or something like that. It's the same wee guy, which, which is near Elvin's, but it's quite funny. So at this stage, the worm's turning with Loki and Bartleby. Loki's now starting to have second thoughts. Thought they've been a bit rash, whereas Bartleby is now fucking all in. He's just fuck him. I want to just do this. Don't you fuck <laughs> like that? I said, aye, because he's feeling hard done by into it. He's like, ah, we follow all the rules, we serve and all this stuff, and then these people that he favours better than us. Some of them don't even think he exists. You know what I mean? And he's just that, like, It's a huge monologue, mate, and it's fucking smashing. Aye. Ah, it's tremendous as well, written and all that. It's, ah, it's good, man. Because that's just the turning point, isn't it? And then that's when <laughs> Loki goes like that. I've heard somebody talk like this before. You sound like the Mormon star. You sound like the bastard doing the stair with the big horns. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. You don't you ever call me that again? You know what I mean? 
Ähm, Peter Frantit. <lacht> äh, ich bin Frantit. Dare you call me the God's brother? What, Chaslet? Where am I hell? See that there moving? That's brilliant. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, <laughs> next thing we're camping, isn't we, mate? Uh, we're camping. And Pep's like, why did we know just stay on the train? It's like, well, if your enemies know where you are, don't be there. Which is Aye. sound advice, I suppose, but... Uh. Aye, so it's by the fire, and Rufus starts explaining the missing parts of the Bible, doesn't he? Aye, aye. That's it. It's like, obviously, Jesus was born, and that was like a, a holy thing by God, but <clears throat> obviously Joseph and Mary had mere children, their family came through time and all that stuff, and it turns out Beth is Jesus's great, 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 great grand niece or something, Aye. you know what I mean? <laughs> Aye. So she's just pure, has to get up and walk away after hearing that bit of uh, news. So much so she goes into the water, goes into the water and goes off her nothing. What do you want from me? Ah! <laughs> and then Metroton appears, didn't he? Yeah, I just again nonchalant kind of says how do you think he felt who jesus what do you mean well he's in father couldn't you tell him because it would have blew his head up because the child is a mortal <laughs> human being so I, I had to be the one to tell him much like i'm the one that's going to be telling you now and all that that's the exact same way he reacted do you know what i mean <laughs> he's like i had to tell jesus his whole fate that he's a son of god and all that and he's going to be chastised for it and they end up he's going to be crucified for saying it. He's like, I'm telling this to an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> what? I mean, I do you think he felt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, mate. But, but um, if they tell the uh, son of God, blah, blah, he snaps them to a big fancy restaurant, doesn't he? Aye. Aye, because it's like, <laughs> it's like, we can't find, what is it, we can't, we can't find um, Jesus. And all the God, he's a he's a massive uh, ski ball fan, and every so often he inherits the body the animal and goes and watches it, plays it, whatever, and he's not returned, and we can't find him. So this is the end of days. So we're just going to get drunk instead. <laughs> so he's, he's usually back by now. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, so we we'll need to try and find him. And then clutch his fingers, and they're all sitting on this big table. It's like a Corinthian in it. Fucking, yeah. they're all looking at it. What we just camping in the woods? <laughs> aye, aye. That's when VJ gets hang me as well. Well, see if the church is shut. That means the angels can't get in. And then the voice of God's like, My God, the little stoner has a good idea. <laughs> aye. Let's go and speak to someone. And they decide to go and speak to the cardinal. Um, it was quite funny when they're talking about him. Uh, and he's trying to defend Catholicism. And they, they say to him, well, what about fucking all the wee boys and all that? What about this? What about that? He goes, okay, mistakes were made. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Catholic Church has never made a mistake. And he goes, like something. Oh, I did not turn a blind eye to the slave trade. And then it was something else. Aye, what about the, the thing with the Jews and all that? And he goes, okay, mistakes were made. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> So, so the next thing you know, Loki and Bartleby have arrived in New Jersey. <clears> and <throat> Azrael appears in the diner, doesn't he? Aye. Uh, they're in a pub all discussing what do we do next and all this. And then, like he says, Azrael appears and he takes out this wee barman, doesn't he? He's like, how, how, how do you get a holy barman? And he just shoots him. <laughs> oh, bah, I'm evil. Bah. <laughs> Aye. And it's this is when it all gets revealed, isn't it? That Azrael has been responsible for this because it turns out when there was like the war between the two sides, he didn't pick a side, and God cast him out into hell as well. So, and he doesn't want to go to hell anymore, so he'd rather not exist. And you're like, Aye. all right. <laughs> That's exactly what he says. He says, you know what? 
I could say to him, look, if we do this, it's going to fucking reverse everything. It's going to re- reverse existence. And he says, I would rather that than get back to fucking hell, man. <laughs> so he must be down there. Must be down there watching Loose Women or something. 24-7. <laughs> rather than get back there. Or maybe down in hell, it's being in your bed with your nine brothers and sisters and <laughs> listening to your dad. <laughs> oh, oh. Glowing, the glow of the fire and your dad's big bare ass. The smell of whiskey and the haunting tear dripping from your mother's eye as she looks straight at you. <laughs> and you hear oh, the haunting dear. words. He's a haunt, son. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? <laughs> You're not a pretty skin boy. <laughs> oh, Get the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> so next thing you know, as the owls get off and one, obviously, Bob just goes up to him and sticks a fucking golf club <laughs> right through his chest. Aye. Aye. All I mean, my you, the two angels have arrived at this church and they just start Doing everybody in, you know what I mean? Just chaos is happening, but <laughs> I see that as well. The Selma Hayek character goes, I, I mean, even when Elvis got up there, Elvis picked a side, that's why he's the king. <laughs> he's like, but uh, like he says, Bob hits Israel with his club and knocks his chest in, and he's surprised by it, isn't he? Because he's like, oh, what the fuck? Aye. I'm a demon. You know what I mean? So, and so was I. Uh, <laughs> a big blunt driver. Aye. And Beth. Beth, bless the sinks. She just... And then that's when they drown the wee demons and they bless, <laughs> the bless the sink. <laughs> it's just so fucking nuts. Yeah, oh. see, see, when, see at the start when the, the skater boys were, were whizzing about, did you notice the, the noise, the sound effect? No, it's it was like flies. flies. Aye. Aye, quite Aye. good that. <laughs> Sorry, folks, wish I said that at the start there. <laughs> um, so they get to the they get to the church eventually. Anyway, as you Aye. say, mate. By the time they get there, it's just carnage. It's slaughtered human beings, blood everywhere, blah blah blah. And they're, they're where are they, man? Maybe they've already went into the the doors and all that. But we can't touch them. But Loki appears with his wings cut off, didn't he? Aye. Disappears round from behind a, a van and he's steaming. And all his his yeah. wings have been chopped off. You know what I mean? He's just ah, this isn't how I thought it was gonna be and stuff and <laughs> I, mean? I think it was a bit rash. It was like, well where, where's Bartleby? About well, what what's caused all this then if you've no really done it? Uh him and she points to this guy and Bartleby's fucking up there. He says he just keeps taking people up and drapping them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aye. Aye. He's Aye. like full rogue, man. We, ra- we ran out of sinners, so we just started picking random people up. <laughs> what? Jesus, man. Aye. So he's like that now, but he realises, he says, I've cut my wings off because I don't want to be, I want to be mortal now, no, that. do you know what I mean? Aye. And she's like, how did you get through the gates? And he's like, no. Which is a bit strange, you know what I mean? Aye. But, um, the next time we have the, the bit of bar, I'll be flying down all majestic and stuff. <laughs> I feel like, like a pure evil villain into it. And it's just revealed that he's pure jealous eh, mortals into it because of the way God likes them better than angels into it. And you're just like, Aye, because oh. it basically says, like, he's for, forgave you guys for fucking centuries and he flung me and him out of heaven. For having Aye. an opinion, you know what I mean? Aye. He's always fucking looked after you, he's always forgiven your sins. <laughs> <laughs> so he just he fucking open hands, poor Sam Dippity Cracker Man, and then grabs Beth with a, with a dagger and all that, didn't he? Aye. Aye, he's, he's went full villain, the boy. And then Loki steps in, didn't he? He stopped him like that. This isn't you, man. We're better than this. To the point, he just Ooh. kills Loki, didn't he? Stabs him. Just lays them down. My boy! <laughs> you last the faith, brother. So, the next thing they talk about the charity and what, what makes this church so special, and then it all clicks into place about the John Doe. 
because it was on the news again about the John Doe's lying in hospital. Where is this John Doe? She realises right away, Bethany. The John Doe's the key, and it changed. Where's this hospital? Five miles that way. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, they decide that they're going to distract Bartleby while they go to get this John Doe. Because <laughs> Jay, Jay grabs her and all, didn't he? And he's just done Danish trousers and all that. And he goes, ah, listen, you promised to fuck me if it was the end of the world. That's about five minutes for now. <laughs> aye. Get on this, man. Trousers right down. Fucking... <laughs> Proud of him for doing that. Brilliant. <laughs> She's like, no, I need to go to this hospital. I need to get this John Doe. It's a John Doe's a key. You key. You guys keep Bartleby busy. What? Busy with fucking what? And then uh, Jay just uh, pulls this Uzi out, didn't he, man? Yeah. So I start shooting at Bartleby, but he shoots his wings off. What in turn actually does him a favour. Because that's what he wanted to do himself, you know what I mean? Because they have to cut their wings off to become mortals. And it's just, mm-hmm. oh no. It's like, but Thanos in it when he's about to just mm. get the last stone. It's like into that, isn't it? <laughs> but you cut to Beth and she's in this hospital, and it's obviously God that got attacked at the start of the movie, isn't it? And yep. she releases God to her own detriment because she ends up bleeding for the stomach or something, isn't it? I mean, she pulls the plugs at the wee John Doe, who's so the wee old man for the start. It wakes up with such a a start, oh, that it's like Palpatine, the electricity comes at him, no. and one goes right through her stomach, man, and her blood starts pushing at her belly. You know what I mean? <laughs> pushing at her belly. Okay. But Bartleby's he's walking up to the church doors. He's one, he's one, he's the bad man's one, and he goes to open the doors into it, and God steps it with the voice of God into it. <laughs> Metaton. Aye. And God has by this time took the form of Alanis Morissette, hasn't he? <laughs> Aye. Aye. She's just, she's all facial expressions, obviously, because if she talks, like mortal beings, heads will explode and all that, and their bodies will explode and stuff. It? Aye. Alan Rickman obviously says that a lot better earlier in the film. He says, why, why can't you just speak to us? And he says, a, a kind of monologue which is excellent because your minds would collapse as your fucking hearts exploded it can't comprehend the, the superiority yeah. blah 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 it's really really good yeah. but um I should he goes like maybe want to she she gives Bart, Bartleby starts greeting as if I'm fucking I'm disappointed you know that do you know what I mean and she uh-huh. she she looks sad as hell <laughs> she just grabs him gives him the longest hug didn't she man yeah uh-huh. And as I like you say, Alan Rickman's character just goes, Are there any mortal beings around here you might want to cover your ears? And BJ's like, What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Aye. And then, so obviously, like Rufus and Serendipity just grab him and pull him down and show opens her mouth. But instead of words coming out, it's just like the fucking that wee old woman ghost at the start of Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Uh, Bartleby's head explodes, his chest explodes, not into it, and he's dead. You're like, oh. Uh, he's mortal by this time, so he just die. Uh, you're right, mate. Uh, just explodes. And uh, it's today, it does it. Obviously, Alan Rickman does that again. <laughs> My suit. And he wipes uh, Alanis Morissette's dress on his suit, and she just looks at him <laughs> and looks at her dress. Bastard. And just does that and comes out into a brand new outfit, doesn't she? Which is quite uh, cool, man. Aye, all shiny and all that. But that's and then she And then she just skips away like a wee lassie. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when Bob appears with Beth into it, and Beth's and his arms deep. You know what I mean? And wee Bob's got tears and snorters and all that. <laughs> but they still no sound coming at him like that. Oh, brilliant. But Aye. God goes there, didn't she? Touches on the stomach and brings Beth back to life as well. And you're like, oh. It's no bad that. <laughs> the, the path of God. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. <laughs> Aye, so she's back. But this time, eh, Alanis Morissette skips away again and starts doing handstands and sniffing flowers and just happy to be here. Jay actually pulls her up, didn't he? Who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing here? Where the fuck are we? Just everything's buck, 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 buck. She just bops him on the nose. Boop. <laughs> and she kisses him, didn't he? And he's like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? That's right, calms him right down. 
Aye. All the while this is happening, Metrodon's just explaining to uh, Beth about what's going to happen now and all that. She's proud of you, blah, blah. And he goes, she goes like that, but I'm the last scion. And he says, no, you were the last scion. And puts her, his horn on her belly. Mm. She's like, what? And obviously, God's now put her with child. Yeah, now she's pregnant. And you're like, oh, it's not bad, that. <laughs> I with the second coming, apparently. This yeah. is where, if there's going to be a sequel, it was to carry on from. Yeah. So, and he just, he just says to her before they go, Aye, so you've got a, a good job today and that little one's life's going to be filled with such importance and blah, blah, blah. Aye, because starts I'm, greeting her up. Aye, because Beth runs up to God, didn't she? And she's like, ah, before you go, why are we here? <laughs> she just goes, boop, right, right on the nose. <laughs> and Alan Wright was like, told you she was funny. <laughs> aye, he's been impressed with her. So told you what a hurt she is. <laughs> Oh, my heart. Oh, funny. Is she funny? Funny. Uh, oh, what funny is. But it turns out isn't it, that Rufus, the voice, God, and I can't remember her name, um, it's just Salma Hayek. They step <laughs> into the church. <laughs> I'm just, uh, They leave into it. Obviously, God's reversed all the carnage outside and all. Like, all the dead bodies and that are all away. The blood's all gone and stuff. And they disappear, I take it, back to heaven. Uh, they get into the archway of the church, which is backlit and all that, obviously, and they the wee waves and they all go away. Uh, they did the and uh, ET, didn't they? I'll be right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the last line, more or less, is Jay. They're all, just Jay, Bob, and uh, Beth sitting. Fucking... What a, what a day. And he goes like, hey, I got to fucking worry when she kissed me, man. <laughs> so thank God. And that's, that's kind of it, man. Aye. That's the end of it. You just Benito. get credits. Oh. Aye. But... And that was dogma. If you've not seen it, man, I don't... Can't advise that enough. It's humorous and factual and just taken for an angle that's, that's superb, man. Well written. Brilliantly casted. And there's no fucking about. It's just it is what it is, and it's uh, it's a, it's an eight for me anyway. Uh, I'll get a seven, a seven. Uh, it's just aye. Uh, that's good, mate. I enjoyed that. Like you say, it's probably aye. the Kevin Smith film I like the best. I know. I know a lot of people <laughs> talk about Clerks, but I think that's another one people just jump on. Oh, I like it. I know. Aye. Aye. Clerk, Clerks two is better. Fuck uh-huh. it. <laughs> I clutch it. Even the Jane Silent Bob stuff, you need to be a certain frame of mind to watch it. I think you need to be young as well, because I remember enjoying it a lot more when I was young and fucking stupid, getting Aye. stoned and steaming and all that jazz. But if you do want to get a copy of Dogma, it is very hard to get. I'm happy that I've got a physical copy. I'm, you've probably got one on, aren't you, Chris? Uh, DVD. DVD. Aye. I've no got the DVD, DVD limited edition <laughs> because obviously when it went to the box office the, the stint was shortened and it was pulled out of theatres because of the uproar for the fucking Christian, the Christian movement um, and any DVDs and VHSs that were manufactured up to a point weren't they continued after that then obviously the Weinstein company you know what happened with that prick um, and it's very hard to get so there was there was a uh, one's gone on eBay not up for a hundred quid. Aye, <laughs> it was at a time, and the VHSs are actually worth more because it's that you know retro tech in it. Aye. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I've got you got uh, you know VHS, yeah, video, huh? huh? <laughs> yeah, I've got a recorder. Yeah, I like to, I like to rewind my films as I put the kettle on. You know. See, <laughs> aye. <laughs> nah, I bet, bet it's all bet it's all snowy and fuzzy at the Salma Hake, bet you <laughs> bastard. You call me a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> oh you you're touching yourself, bastard you. <laughs> so have you got a have you got a Glaswegianism for dogma? Aye. SNP. <laughs> 
the most bad. dogmatic movement in the planet Earth. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, look at the word dogma in the dictionary. <laughs> if you you have mere luck asking your bedroom war to change its mind about something, do you know what I mean? Then you would having a member of the SNP National Scottish National Party. Uh, That's what I'm going to say about that. <laughs> you get one? No. No, I was, just, I was just going to say, holy be Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Mary, wee Joseph, and a wee donkey. <laughs> God, a wee baby donkey there with the palm leaves. Jesus, riding in the fucking riding. You know that way he's on a donkey and he's fucking riding Dirty into bitch. the town. <laughs> Look at you here, nay. Come here, nay. <laughs> bastard, Jesus, bastard. Nay. <laughs> well, I well, like Shouts Committee. Oh. I have our followers over at Direct Fest Club. Fucking Jesus, man. Jesus is Christ. Fucking on a donkey. Big fucking palm leaves, man. Caught in the house. Thinking he's a fucking man. <laughs> Covered in fucking shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know of it. Oh. I can't just Oh so it's just I can't get that out of my head now. <laughs> the nineteen forties tenement in Glasgow. And all you had to look forward to was your school there. Cause you get a cup of water and half an apple. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were lucky your teacher would roundly beat you for looking at her now. A questioning manner. <laughs> the beating would shake off the lice. <laughs> we were sent to school and ten below in a pair of shorts. <laughs> Your satchel. If you were lucky, you would eat that day. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so apt, isn't it? Every time you talk to somebody. Oh, aye, I remember back in the day. Aye, I don't know. I do, aye. Fucking, I was super, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the life expectancy was 12. Aye, I know. <laughs> oh, fucking. Ah, uh, Dad. Aye, son. What's my granda like? Oh, your granda. Your granda was, oh, what a man your granda was, son. Aye. He lived to a right old age. Aye. For 41, he was. Uh, died a broken heart. Uh, your granny died. Three minutes before him. Uh, oh, really? That was a car crash, son. Uh, I broke my heart. <laughs> oh, I got off. Oh, I, I, I used to smoke unfiltered cigarettes. Never done me any him. <laughs> got a big fucking golf ball hole there. Never done me hear him. Oh. I used to drink methylated spirits. You don't see me fucking. Complaining, do you? Now go and get me my wheelchair. <laughs> Where's my nebulizer mask? Oh. Uh, never done me any harm, all that smoking, all that carbon monoxide, and all that. Two minutes to go and have a live doing in the iron lung. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel we could go oh. in for this. <laughs> we could. Let's get that, mate. You've You've got synapses fire in my brain here about <laughs> ideas. Welcome to Rant Fest. <laughs> Episode one. Anything at all. <laughs> right, mate. Hi. Hi. I, want you, to, I want you to tell me and the listening public on on record that you're coming out this afternoon with. It's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Me and Chris are going to have some some Guinnesses and some sipping whiskies. I'm going to take selfies. I'm going to inappropriately touch ladies' bums. Like I do that now, can't you know? Uh, this that's a false statement. It cannot be used in court. <laughs> as a false statement, honestly, I was only kidding on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I have a wife who I love <laughs> very, very much, and if there's any bum touching going on, I'll be touching hers. Looking for our pass. <laughs> right, mate. Cheerio, bye.
Hyvää jäljellä.